And it's good morning world. It's uh, April 11th, a Monday. We're beefing up our beach cleanup patrol. So we got three girls today. I'm gonna spend a little more of your money that you donated here. Over here, this way, girls. We got May, Jessa May, and Irish this morning. And yesterday we took a right and cleaned all the way down to Crusty and beyond, down to Cabo On. Today we're taking a left and going down to the airport canal. Here is Irish. And next is Jessa May and then May. So I'm gonna go grab my jacket so I don't burn. But go ahead and get started. Just take a left and go on down the beach. I'll be there in a minute. We'll transfer to Clear Sacks to Ode to Ode. And here we are. We cleaned up. Yeah, cans too. Let's take the cans too as long as we can. Okay, now one of you is Boteas only and plastics, the other is Basura. What's going on? Is that your dog? And we'll get to work here. I'll have my helmet cam. This is going to be under my chin cam here. But the audio will be good. So. Anyway, the battle continues. We're just getting Nescafe. One of the more popular garbage. It's really not too bad. The beach looks pretty clean. They must have some kabooms here. He's working pretty good. We're still trying to get this dialed in. This is all new. One of my first supporters was the one who wanted to hire someone to clean a kilometer of beach. And I kept thinking about that. What can we do with the girls now? The cage is kind of... Well, we took the canopy top down today because it pretty much got shredded. And the infamous diaper. Who's got gloves? You got gloves? Oh, look at you, so brave. Now you gotta go wash your hands for sure. Here's a bottle up here. Big bottle. And we're back at it. Nice breezy day. And we are still in the cleanup mode. I just wish I would have brought a better camera mount. I bought a chest mount, but it just doesn't fit too well. Yeah, the nasties. Well, we're getting it. This beach is going to be spotless when we're done. The sack's starting to get a little heavy. Yeah, yeah dump the sand out. There you go. And there's this no shortage. It's a tiny shoe. Check that out. Uh, a very gamai. <laughs> See if I can rig this up on my head somehow. And we're still getting more and more junk out of here. Okay, onward we go. We're almost down to Lady Kaboom. I think that's where Bobby's probably working. Especially get this little styrofoam. That's important there. All those little white pieces. Here. Get them all. Oh, don't touch that one. Don't touch that one, yuck. We'll let that one go. <laughs> Look at this one. Those are the bad ones. We're gonna kill our fish with that styrofoam. We need to ban styrofoam on the island here. Oh no, this doesn't look too bad.
got kabooms all along here. Every canal has got a kaboom now. So we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now we got all sorts of sacks of trash here. What's in this? Nice. Yeah, it's all sand mostly. Get the sand out of it. Those are bottles. Go ahead and open that up and get the bottles out. Today's what? Today's Monday, huh? Well, Philippine National Police will probably be down here on Thursday. Stacks are getting heavy. Let's just clean this up here in front of the governor's house. From there on down, looks pretty good. We'll go check on Bobby. He might be here working. We might go help him a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there's Bobby. Well, all these bottles, they didn't come out of this canal. They came washing up. So we'll get them picked up here. Boy, lots of bottles. Yeah, I would just... Okay, who's got some bottles here? Whose bottles? Are you bottles? Are you garbage? Yeah, bottles. Okay. In front of the Gov's house. Got to make it look good for when his visitors walk down to the beach. We got a clean and green cam again. And there's Bobby scooping it out. I kind of gave him orders. He used to take care of all the canals and the begging and sorting because I want the girls down here on the beach. He's supposed to be putting in four hours a day. He was only putting in an hour or two at most. He gets full-time pay for half-time work and then he's working quarter time so I had a little talk with him. He understands. It's like most things they'll see just what they can get away with before I speak up. I've been an employer for 35 years. I know how that works. And back we go. Just look at this beautiful beach. And it's mostly because of our kabooms there. You can see Lady Kaboom. Bobby scooping out a whole lot of bottles and trash. That never even make it down to the beach. Well, there's my crew. We did good today. This beach is now spotless. People come down here. There's nothing absolutely nothing this is the nicest this beach has looked in a long time it's just easier to come down here with my crew and have three of them that are pretty much trained than to have a group of 50 going around yeah they get it picked up but it's never segregated and then we got a full day's work resegregating it all so oh with a little bit more of your support i'd like to get a crew of about five or six to do these beach cleanups. Three trash bags, three plastic bags. There's another piece of glass. We'll get that one. We don't want anybody cutting their foot down here. But now it almost looks like Barakai, huh? <laughs> Barakai da come again. Come on, how? Oops, there's a bottle. Here's our catch for the day. Three sacks of plastics. We went ahead and left. This is why you wear gloves. There's glass and stuff out there, but that's why I always get the girls good heavy-duty gloves. I'm just not as careful, I guess. There we go. Let me see your sack. Yours looks kind of blue got. Here, you've been filming for a while. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog! <laughs> Thank you.
my car just leave this here for now and get tolo clear sacks three clear sacks and three regular sacks and i'll be back with the car we're going to go down and help bobby